we have a dysfunctional national intelligence service that has exposed the president, the government, and the people of Kenya. Had the national intelligence service briefed the president two months ago about how the people of Kenya feel about the finance bill 2024, so many Kenyans would not have died. Property would not have been destroyed. Offices would not have been touched. There would have been no mayhem. But they slept on the job. It is hard to take people to die, property to be destroyed, protests across the country for the president to know the truth of what the people of Kenya feel. Yet, there is an organization paid for by the public to brief the president and the government about the feeling of the Kenyan people. The Director General of the National Intelligence Service, Nurdin Haji, was a junior officer in the National Intelligence Service before he was appointed as DPP. When he was appointed to the office of the Director General, because of inferiority complex, he chased away all the people who were senior to him when he was in the service, therefore crippling the capacity of that service and making it dysfunctional. Three directors were chased away and reassigned to desk jobs in ministries across government. Third, and he must do the honorable thing, not just take responsibility, but resign from that office and allow the president to pick a competent director general. I want to put myself in the shoes of parents who have lost their young children and appreciate the pain, the anguish, the torment. Innocent young children whose only crime was to hear their views in a democratic country.